Hey guys, thanks for coming back, and if you're new, uh, thanks for joining me here. Um, today, I wanted to take a quick uh, detour of actual uh, Planet Coaster building and show you guys uh, a quick way that I make some of my thumbnails for my videos. Some people have, uh, have messaged me on Twitter, or they'll ask me on Facebook, how do you, um, do you use Photoshop, what do you use to, uh, to make your thumbnails, which I think are a pretty important part of the whole YouTube process. You've got to have a, a pretty, I think, an, a, an engaging uh, thumbnail, and uh, it's definitely what attracts me to videos when I'm just scrolling through um, looking through the subs and, and seeing what's on a, you know, a, um, a good put together thumbnail will attract my attention more than one that maybe doesn't have any writing on it or it's, you know, I definitely think that helps with your engagement if you're, uh, putting you, uh, videos on YouTube and a quick and simple way if you don't have a Photoshop license or you, you don't have, uh, the Photoshop experience is a website called Be Funky. Dot com and what I'll do is I will uh, I'll link um, a uh, I'll put I'll put the link to the in the description box below and you guys can go to it and try it out but uh, for right now let's go ahead and just pull it up and we will get started here um, and yes if you go to the right page this is what it'll look like it'll have some kind of picture right here and that is bfunky.com and what I do is I'll get in here I'll click on photo editor. And then basically you just want to upload whatever whatever park you're working on. You get you know just get you a screenshot. For this example, I'll go ahead and use uh, one from Hearthstone that I already had up on the uh, on the desktop. So pull that up, and there's your picture. So if you'll look off to the side, that's where you have all the options, the exposure, beautify background. You can resize this, crop it. But um, one of the main parts that I get questions about is how do you get how do you know they'll say. Uh, Steve, how do you get those transparent photos on top of your pictures? Well, this is how I do it. I just go to Layer Manager. It's up at the very top. Click on Add Layer. And I actually name a folder. Yeah, I name my folder uh, Transparent Clips. And basically, it is exactly what it says it is. All of these images I try to th that I have in here are all transparent. And you can find them all from Google. So usually one of the first things I'll do is I'll go to my Planet Coaster um, logo here that's transparent that they've made available online and just click open and there it is so you can drag it drop it you can resize it put it wherever you want and uh, yeah like I said real simple not a lot of Photoshop uh, you know you don't have to go through all the steps and the saving it's just uh, it's right here like this so and what I normally do is because that's kind of out there it's kind of really bold I'll just go over here to the opacity and uh, I'll just usually put it on 59 60 and you can see how it lightly uh, kind of lightly it t shades it takes away the so it's not just blasted out there um, same way with text it, you can add they've got all actually the website has all kinds of fonts um, but uh, you it actually it it detects what fonts you've downloaded as well. So see, you've got ours, which they have some pretty cool ones, but you also have yours. And you can basically, um, yeah, type in, let's see, we'll do this all caps. Um, you can type in whatever the title of your particular video is or however you want to explain it. And uh, yeah, just say, let's see, let's, we'll just pick one here. Um, Let's see if we can find a good one here. This is one from Lord of the Rings, uh, the, the ring bearer font. And, uh, yeah, you can resize it. If you're going to resize it a lot, I suggest dragging it over here kind of almost out of the way because, see, right now it's at 43 points. Um, just say I want to make it 180. It kind of fills back in across the screen. Blep. Screen. And uh, yeah, you might. It, it sometimes if you do it too big, it'll it'll fly over here way out of the way and can be kind of hard to uh, hard to get back. But yeah, like I said, all kinds of fonts. I even have. Um, I think I have the Warcraft font in here. Yeah, Lifecraft. So if you were doing a Warcraft type video, and all of this is uh, it's all recolorable. So they have the color picker here. You can. Uh, basically change it I could make this really dark red but the cool thing about this is they also have you can do an outline color and uh, you can you can see how it shades it we can do yellow and red um, just like I said for free 
you can't beat this. It's quick, easy, it's free. You don't have a lot of uh, load times waiting for um, Photoshop to load. And yeah, guys, this is what uh, this is what you can do with this. And uh, that's how I, uh, this is behind the scenes. This is how I do my thumbnails. I know, like I said, a lot of people may use um, Photoshop, but for me, this is uh, this is just as easy. I, like I said, BeFunky.com. I made my, just my video a couple, day or two ago, Pride Rock intro. And what I, what I was saying earlier, too, is when you go to uh, actually find the transparent images, um, always just make sure that you type in transparent, like say uh, you were making a Disney park. Just type in Disney transparent or whatever you're looking for. And typically right off the bat, you'll find one like see right here, Disney right off, right off, right at the very top. As long as you see these little checkerboards right here, um, typically you're good to go. So what I do is I right click uh, just to save time, we'll do it on the desktop. And normally, like I said, I'll do it on the uh, the transparent folder. But since I'm just showing you guys, and uh, yeah, it is this this thing uploads real time. So if we go to uh, let's load this up here a minute and add layer. Go back to the desktop. There it is, Disney. We just downloaded it. And yes, see now you don't have that. Uh, you don't have the white background or any of that in the back. So. You can place this anywhere you want, uh, anywhere on your thumbnail. So, uh, yeah, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and um, leave me a comment if you have any questions about this, or, um, you know, anytime you have a question about any of my videos, or how stuff worked, or how did I make stuff do that, uh, just give me a shout, because I don't know to, uh, to let you all know if nobody asks me. So, uh, definitely leave a comment, and, uh, yeah, if you uh, are not too keen and might not, you know, have Photoshop as your preference, highly, highly recommend BeFunky.com. Quick and easy, and you will have a good-looking thumbnail uh, in no time. So, uh, yeah, guys, it is Friday Eve. Weekend's coming up. Hopefully, I will bring you an update to Hearthstone this weekend. Added a lot more to that park, so uh, that should be exciting. So, yeah, keep, uh, keep on the lookout for that, and I will catch you guys next time. Thank you.